What up, folks? Welcome back to Ultra Silver Toys, and today I have a review of the Mezco King Kong of Skull Island PX Previews Exclusive Black and White Edition. All right, my zillions, back again with another Kong, another Mezco Kong, the same Mezco Kong, kind of, sort of. This is the PX Previews exclusive version, which means it was out in specialty shops, comic shops, whatnot, exclusive to them. Uh, and uh, it was done in this black and white color. Uh, it's kind of black and gray, you know, to mimic the movie. It comes with also a few extra accessories, which is cool. So something a little bit different for you folks that might have wanted to get one that was more uh, spot on to the movie. Uh, granted, I mean it's it's stylized. It's not exactly the movie, but it's it's kind of a cool addition to the collection. Now, before we get into the review proper, uh, you know, going over everything we got here, I do want to mention this right off the bat uh, as a word of warning to you uh, I was alerted when I put this on t uh, Instagram earlier today that the hips are uh, very very tight and some people are reporting breakage uh, on this particular version I didn't have that in my original version mind you um, I took mine out of the box and yes this is indeed the case both sides were really really tight i ran it under some hot water for a couple minutes and i freed up the articulation there um so maybe there's a little excess paint that needs to be freed up or whatever it is that happened in there i don't know for sure but it loosened up pretty quickly there so there you go wanted to mention that want to put that out there as a word of warning and you know what that's across the board with any figure you know like uh, you know, not to blame, put the blame on a anyone that's buying this and breaking it, but with any figure, if you feel any, so I mean, when you take something out of the box, don't start hand fisting everything. If you feel tightness, stop, relax, and you know, don't try to force it at you know any joint out. Put that under some hot water for a little bit, even like 30, 40 seconds should start freeing it up. You know. Just, I mean, if you if you could do that, you, you you're gonna save a lot of money and a lot of heartache. All right, so just wanted to put that out there because a lot of folks do not do that. They do take it out and start like pulling out all the joints, testing it all out. Be gentle, you know, you know your stuff, and uh, you'll be a lot happier uh, with that. But definitely, this guy definitely had uh, tight hips, so definitely wanted to mention that. So, but it freed up, so. That's really like, you know, one concern that I really don't have uh, about mine uh, with the, you know, the breakage. I, I was fixed right away, but it was a problem that happened out of the box. So definitely wanted to mention that. My, my, other, my bigger issue is it's not with that. So let's get to it, though. All right, gang, since we started talking about um, basically an articulation thing, let's, let's go over the articulation in this guy. So if you want to see the legs, they articulate. Not much anyway on the hips, so that's what you're getting out of that. Not too much really going on there. The knees, the knees are pretty tight on mine as well. You're not getting a ton of articulation in the knees. And then the feet do move back and forth, side to side. So there you go there. Then you have the diaphragm joint. Which works well, but you know, it is a little hindered. Hinge swivel at the shoulder. Hinge swivel at the elbow. And ball jointed uh, wrist there. So, and these guys, the, the wrists, if you remember, if you saw my Kong review, um, the, the wrists uh, are pretty weak on that one and the hands kind of you know, fall out a lot. Full disclosure, that was the thing that kept uh, that Kong off my best uh, of uh, 2018. It was it was in the mix because I really liked it, but the head also falls off pretty easy. Uh, not falls off, like it's not going to fall off, but you know, you mess around with it, it'll come out a lot. And the head joint, this one does come out too. At least the, the hands don't, uh, you know, is on a ball joint. 
kind of get decent range of motion. So there you go with that. All right, let's talk about the thing I uh, like the least here, though. Um, it's the teeth, the way the teeth are colored. Now, the original, I don't have the original head on him right now, but you can see that the teeth are dirty, right? And you kind of just get away with it as being dirty um, the way it is in color. But here, because it's the black and white, gray, light gray, um, it doesn't, it just looks messed up. And right here, they just like plain <laughs> messed up this tooth right in there. So you got like a tooth that's pretty much not there. Like he's uh, gone a few rounds with Mike Tyson there. Um, so that could be a lot better. I would have probably just made him cleaner. Um, I guess if it wasn't for this tooth, I might, might have not have thought about it. But let's bring in the alternate head sculpt here, the one we saw on the other one. And that, you know, is messed up too. Um, it's really, it's, it's a bit too dark, you know, you don't get enough white in there and that's unfortunate. Um, I, I just feel like it could have been done a little better, like... You know, obviously the gums are black here. That's fine. But with that, I just think you just needed cleaner teeth um, overall. I mean, it's glaring here. It's glaring on the bottom. You know, it's something I could fix. We have a lot of paint here. My wife does a lot of paintings. So this is, uh, I could definitely get the colors and fix that. But I shouldn't have to. You know, like I think that's that's unfortunate. Uh, and the same thing can be said with the, the hip thing, you know. I, I said it wasn't a, as big a deal because that's a super, super easy fix. This is easy too, but I just don't like painting that so much. <laughs> Plain and simple. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a concern. Otherwise, sculpts on these things, I guess I'm looking at this particular head right now because uh, it's in my hand, are very good. I do like to paint uh, otherwise. It works here. Um, it's very steely gray in the eyes and that looks really nice and I do like how the light gray goes over the black so very nicely done you know the growling head is super cool it looks awesome this head uh, looks pretty good too he is looking a little up here um, but it's totally fine you know like uh, he's got to look above these brows here giant brows uh, again I like the sculpt if you didn't see my other review it's it's stylized it's a stylized original and I think that's pretty cool it also comes um, from the book uh, by Joe DeVito which I did you know worked on the comic adaption of uh, as a letter it was one of my first gigs as a letter honestly um, but so yeah that's neither here nor there but some context of where this particular design comes from it looks really cool in these colors for sure. I do like the light gray all over the fur, um, which is kind of like a black, but like kind of a dark gray in itself. So it's like a lot of shades of gray here. So I think it looks really cool in these colors throughout. You don't, the thing you are missing out on a lot is there's like a lot of cool scratches here that um, I wish they were done darker even than this, maybe black, like, you know, the mouth was. Uh, I think that's uh, it would have been a good thing to do. It's not dark enough. They should stand out and pop out more because that's one of the cool things about the original is the scratches and the bloody looking scratches. So I, I wish they uh, did something there. Um, I don't hate it though, but you know, it is what it is. Otherwise, the sculpt is really nice if you haven't seen it. Just kind of take a look at it. I don't really have to go super, super into detail. Um, it's nothing different than I reviewed before, but it looks really good. The hands look really nice. The feet look really nice, very well sculpted. I do like how these turned out in these colors. Uh, so really cool. You know, I, I just, it's it's a really nice looking Kong. I really gotta say, it's kind of like silverbackish. Um, so that is, is I don't know, it, it definitely looks great in, in these colors uh, for sure. So yeah, I like the look of this guy overall. He's really nice. As far as Kong's accessories besides the head, he comes with two fist hands. Nicely done here and the holding hand 
which you can hold Andara with, or his new uh, Bone Club, which we'll look at in a second. But these work very nice. He also comes with the chains uh, that he came with before. The Oof. These uh, bracelets here. Bracelets? <laughs> um, these little cuffs. Man, I am like, I can't remember the names of these. Um, shackles, 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 yeah, shackles. So you can put them on his fists, his fists, his wrists, wrists and fists. We're all about the wrists and fists here. So you can do that. Now, uh, I did get a question somewhere whether or not these could fit around his ankles. And I never actually tested it on the original. Um, but no. <laughs> No, you cannot. So there you go. But they look really good. They are uh, done a little bit differently, of course, in grays and stuff. So very nicely done. Uh, I think they work great in these colors. My least favorite accessory, though, in, the, in this black and white edition is the and arrow. Um, I don't know. It just looks like cartoonishly bad in the face, uh, whereas the original actually looked pretty cool. Uh, and the sculpt is still nice, but it's kind of, you know, washed out a bit, you know, done this way. And, you know, the skin tone is in light gray, and then the dress is in white. I don't know. It could have been better. Um, I wish they just didn't give us this and maybe gave us something else. Um, you know, you just, you didn't have to have everything that the original came with. So, eh. That's, you know, is what it is. They gave it to us. I don't like it, but you know, you could fit her in this hand here, like so. So there you go. And the two cool things he comes with in this edition that he didn't come with in the original are this skull here, this uh, Kong species skull. Uh, which looks really nicely done. You know, it's white, and then you got a gray wash over it. Sculpt is really, really cool. I dig it a lot, you know. But this bone thing is, is the real cool thing, because you can use that as a weapon. Um, I'm not sure what kind of bone this is. Uh, <laughs> this is really a big beastie here, because, I mean, it's bigger than his arm, bigger than his leg, so I don't know. Maybe it's some it's a T Rex bone. You guys can let me know if you know what this is supposed to be. It's done in a kind of rubbery plastic. At least the middle is. It's a little harder at the edges, uh, but it's done pretty well. Same deal. Kind of white with like a little bit gray uh, wash over it. Not as much as the the skull, but it's it's pretty good. And then you could put it in this. You know, you can put it in this hand, kind of, sort of, if, depending on how you put it. Like. Could do one of those, you know. This, that's in his regular hand there, and then um, you can put it in this hand, but you gotta really get it finagled in there. Um, might want to heat this up a little bit, but before you, I did it before. Ooh, I should have just filmed while I, I did it, but I did do it. It's just gotta get. Hey, there we go. That's how that looks. I'll do a hand swap. Yeah, that's pretty cool. For me, that that is awesome because you you want you know you want to use this because it came with something different. So I I like it a lot and it gives it a little more flavor than just uh, not having it. So pretty cool there. For your size comparisons, let's start out with uh, the Mezco Kong itself, the actual, the first one, um, the original. Now, this one, I got to say, and I forgot this, that his waist here, his uh, midsection, kind of sits a little oddly on my original. Notice it more and more as, I, uh, as I've had it. So it gives him a little bit of a shorter look like he stands a little taller because his his uh midsection here is actually you know nice and aligned right while this one is not so but yeah this 
the, the black and white one is actually taller on mine. So there you go. But how, this is how they look together. And I feel like, you know, you put different things in their hands and they just, they work. They both work having both of them in your collection. It's pretty awesome. Here's Kong with the SH Monster Arts Gamma 3. A Trendmaster Zilla. Or Godzilla. Whatevs. The Jurassic World in the Raptor. A Beast of the Mesozoic. Uh, I don't know. One of the Raptors. I forget the name of this one. But he's cool. Kinda. Sorta. Yeah, he's cool. Jeed Mega Master. And of course the SH Monster Arts Kong. Oh, and here they are with the Rebor Vanilla Ice V-Rexes. Oh, yeah, I do like this a lot. <laughs> uh, we will be taking a look at these two V-Rexes very, very soon. So stay tuned on that. Final thoughts. Despite a few problems, you know, with the teeth and uh, the hips being tight, I mean, for the price, this is about 40 bucks. I, this is a really good figure. Both were, um, I really like this edition. I really like the bone club and the skull. They look really good. And the paint deco overall is really nice. It really uh, makes this guy stand out from his uh, normal brother. Um, so yeah, I, I still really dig this guy. I think he's very, very cool. And I think this was a really solid release by Mezco. Hopefully they'll put out their uh, their big 18-inch one. I think it was 18-inch uh, of this. It's a little different looking and it looks really awesome. So uh, I hope they do that uh, because I'll be in on that as well. So there you go. Uh, positive review overall. A couple of minor gripes, but yeah, positive review overall. Uh, this guy looks really cool and he's going to look awesome on the shelf. I probably will fix the teeth a little bit, uh, but otherwise, yeah, be careful with those hips, all right? Heat them up. Heat them up, guys. Um, that's the, the biggest worry, in my opinion, because the teeth will probably vary. I haven't heard too much about that other than mine right now. So there you go. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till next time, peace out, peeps.